Welcome back to video two of three, uh, where we look at multiple stories and how to work with them, creating walls, surfaces, and for this part, how do we create this extra surface that we're going to need here to overcome the water problem that we would have in this corner. So I'm going to jump back to layout. First thing that I want to do is to modify the overhang on this gable. So I'm clicking on that and I'm changing the offset to minus the wall thickness in this case 230. So minus 230 enter. Just click on F3 to go to my 3D view to just double check the modifications and I can see that I've got this now on the inside of that wall. Getting back to layout, just going to zoom out here. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to create myself a construction line from this corner where the valley will come out of the building and I'm going to make that at 45 degrees. I'm going to click that, zoom out and I can get a preview more or less of where this valley surface is going to sit. And what I also needed to do because I need to know what the height is that we want to use at this valley point where the surface is going to sit. I'm going to create myself another construction line on the inside wall. The reason for that is so that I can use F8 to measure the height on this heap line here. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit, click and click again to keep it there. And you can see now the height that we want to use is 253.57. Where do we use this? This we're going to use when we create our new surface. I'm going to use build line to create my new surfaces. And I'm also going to make sure that I'm switched to roof. What you also need to do is to change the reference points. Remember, we've got the exact height and all of that. So all the reference points, the default reference points for this, we need to change back to zero. So if you look at my properties for this build line that I've created, I've changed my offset to zero. I've also changed my gable overhang to zero. With that, the normal overhang I've changed to zero. Remember, this surface is sitting inside another surface, so you don't really need an overhang. That's the reason for that. And then the height reference here is not going to be zero because then it's sitting at the ceiling level. The value that I've just measured is that 253.57. That's what we're going to use there. And also, if you have a perpendicular height, which you normally will because it will match heels and that, we do not want to do that here, so that will also be zero. Once we've done that, we can now go ahead and create the surface. So I'm going to start at that point. This one will have an angle on it. I'm going to click there to finish it. From that point, I'm going to go upwards to this point here. From that point, I'm going to go to my left, following all the lines that I've created to that point. And then from that point, I'm coming down back to the origin where I started. And I'm going to click there. Just going to zoom out. You can now see I've actually formed like a hip type of roof here. And what you want to do is, is to change all the surfaces to gables to get rid of the slope on it, except for the bottom one. So that's easy to do. So I'm just going to get my selection tool, select that one, press delete. And you can see that one is now changed to a gable. Select that one, press delete. That one is a gable. And this one as well, press delete on that one. And there we go. So if I press now F3 and I have a look at my surface, you can see that surface is now sitting there. What we're going to do now is just to move this gable in back into the existing building. So I'm going to click on it, right click, move. And I want to move it from that point and I want to move it into that point. If I now press F3 again, you can now see that I've got that surface sitting nicely at the position what I want to do. The last thing that you want to do here is to view cut this surface so that we do not double up on anything there. And let's do that quickly. Okay, so you select the surface, right click, cut manually, starting at the overhang, select the overhang, going around to the hip line, to the ridge line, 
then down the back end there just for that short piece that one i can grab by pressing shift and clicking on it then i need this belly line happy with that and then straight down the wall there holding shift again like that once you see the surface is formed that you want to use in orange you basically just click in open space to complete it press f3 to have a look and now you can see that we've cut that surface and we can now continue to frame this but we'll do that in the next video thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video